but this is John Bain. I want to welcome you to Satisfactory. Hopefully you guys are doing pretty good today. I'm doing good myself. Don't want to forget to mind you guys hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be here when stuff happens. Because here we are in Bain Tech, a subdivision of Bain Industries, temporary, temporary corporate offices with a with a nice trade agreement with Fix It, and it's just it's working out great. It's working out great. Anyway, last episode we got our factory going um, for our lovely wire beautifulness on the wire actually i've actually got nice little bundle loads of it now too so and um it's running nicely it's running very nicely i'm happy with the setup it looks good as w with what we got the wires are still kind of bothering me the sides aren't bothering me as bad as i thought they would continue to do so so that's that's a good thing um like i said last episode i was going to go ahead and unlock the rest of the tier five stuffs and I have, so it's done. You see the pod will return. That was the last pod we just sent off to finish it out, which is great. So now all we have left that before we do the space elevator again is tier six, which we need to get some serious, serious factories going on for that. But prior to jumping into that and getting our temporary store together and redoing all this and no, 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 I want to show you. We'll just verify here for you guys. Select milestones so you can see tier five is now grayed out. So that's really nice. We've gotten these done. The reason why I didn't mind not doing them on cameras, we unlocked all those last season. So um, the new stuff though is going to take. We can make those by hand. This is this is going to take some stuff, man. This is going to take some stuff. We, getting the computers right is just going to be. Yeah, we'll have to do some serious infrastructure. I can't wait, though, to get the next conveyor belt. That's going to be so nice nice and pretty. 480 resources per minute. Also, uh, the monorail technology is right there. It's looking at me. It's looking at me. It's making fun of me. Oh, my God. One thing we didn't look was the, the MAM. We got to check MAM. The uh, analysis of fabric is complete. Please choose a new specimen in the list to be a new analysis. This fabric is suitable for the creation of parachutes. The derived blueprint is now accessible in hub tier two. Okay. That sounds fun. Um, tier two. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Tier two. Okay. Parachute. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, let's select you. And because I hate these having had the hanging out and stuff like that. You know, they, I just want them all done. I want them all done. And that's, that's a good thing. Um, so anyway, we have that. So today, as you probably saw with the thumbnail and the, the title and all that stuff is we toyed around the farming episode, a uh, farming mod a couple episodes ago. I want to actually build it like in earnest. I want to do a good job. I want to make something look good. I want to have it where it's fully automated since we have it completely unlocked. And I want it to be doing the entire processes necessary for our development. Now we were using the pure limestone output over there. But uh, when I was working on the wire factory here, I found another limestone deposit and built a miner on it. And yes, I painted it green. I was figuring greenhouses, nature, stuff, and it actually looks okay. It's okay. It's not bad. It might burn people's eyes. John Bain, John Bain. God, why? Uh, it's, it is what it is. It, it, it kind of has a sphinx kind of thing on the front, too. I like it. It layered on those, so it worked out. Did an interesting top here. The power is running in the back. We're using the double holes to come in through the electrical fence because electric we're gonna pretend it electrifies the fence and it's powering our miner so uh had the wires running that way kind of hidden did the nice little you know, bowed tops on the sides just to give it some more depth just to kind of fill it in so our miner is ready to go jumpy time a lot of jumpy time sorry about that anyway inside you can see we have this set up so this is a normal note so we're only getting 120 per minute that made me think okay 120 a minute what do we need so this is what we did. We're using an assembler. 120 seeds here. Okay, so, so it takes 24 limestone per minute. If you multiply that by five, what do you get? You get 120. So if we could do five assemblers off of that one there to get seeds. I don't know if that's gonna be enough or not. We're gonna find out. Also, I need to check the assembler. Oops, wrong thing. Uh, the actual assembler. Yeah, okay, that was, sorry, that was a constructor. We're gonna check the assembler now. Let's get this just so I can click on it. Not in a, okay, right there. Fine, right there. So let's check out you uh, for the farmer's inhaler. So we need potatoes and carrots. Those are the two products that I'm interested in making. We need 60 per minute and we need 90 per minute coming in. So that's interesting. Also, I was measuring the size of our greenhouses. 
And for no overlap of the side, they need a, no smaller than five foundations by five foundations wide, deep, whole nine yards. So in here for potatoes, non-enriched, or do they require water regardless? No, they require nine seeds per minute. No, one seed, nine per minute. Oh, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be fine. I mean, we honestly don't need a butt ton of these going on at the same time. So that's actually not bad. And for regular carrots, all same thing. All right, so that's nine and nine per minute. And you need, so, uh, okay. The easiest way to do that would be to do two greenhouses for carrots and three greenhouses for potatoes. That would be the easiest way to do that. Hmm. I, I really would rather not uh, use too many power cores in this setup since it's creating a consumable that will continuously craft and fill up vats and vats of stuff while we're doing other things and we're not always needing inhalers. So uh, I would hate to overdo it. Uh, is there a way to pull back production? We can. Okay, so if I wanted to do two of them, I could for the potatoes, uh, or was it, no, yeah, two of them, and have one running at half and kind of keep up in line. It'll take less power, and that would be three greenhouses. So we'd have five assemblers, three greenhouses, I mean, five constructors, three greenhouses, and a beautiful assembler going into storage. So that would be the initial startup of that. I think that's okay. Actually, that looks kind of nifty with a little... I didn't even think about that. That looks kind of nifty. Let's change this out. I know I have a tree there. Ah, huh, can I do this? There's that. Hmm, that's making me think. So let's say we do that and then maybe put you here and then do that all the way across like this. Put you here and here. We have a little star shape there, so like this. This is not the permanent spot. This is, again, just trying to get our the thoughts together on stuff and trying to understand exactly what we're trying to accomplish here. But what if we did all this and left that star in the middle just for the sake of having it there, right? And then go to more factory. I kind of like that, actually. I like that a lot. <laughs> I was just toying around when I was building it, but it was, was it I just pass something that I want to pick? No, no, I thought I did. Okay. It was just toying around when I was building it, but that has some interesting shaping going on. How does these, how do, how do these shape out of it? Goes up too high. Dang, that kind of sucks. But what if we put one? We need to, we'd have to move it down a partial. Like down here. And grab you again. Uh, I guess we need to make you come down a further one, maybe. Sorry, I'm just thinking out loud here. Well, not really thinking that well out loud, but I'm thinking here. And I'm going to say out loud what I'm thinking now. How about that? Like, kind of fall the same kind of thing we have going on. What the heck is that? I think I just messed something up. Let's try it again. <laughs> All right. This is like having these kind of supports come out in the middle and stuff. That might be interesting. That offers an interesting thing. 
I don't necessarily like the lift there, but maybe we can run this down even lower. But anyway, so if we're gonna do this, the min bare minimum we're gonna need is three greenhouses, bare minimum. Uh, and then again, I want to, we'll, we'll probably end up basing it off of the amount we can get off these constructors and whatnot. So we're gonna be getting out, how many seeds per? Six seeds per minute. So times five, that'll be 30 seeds. 30 seeds, okay, so how many do you need per minute? So you look like you only need nine. So we could do three of these and have a little bit extra. No, that's not too bad then. That's kind of what we're talking about. Okay, so we're gonna do three of them. I'm just thinking it'd be awesome to have like these look like biodomes kind of floating in the air or uh, on these, these, these supports. Hmm. All right, well, that's what we're gonna do today. So now that I have this kind of formed out, I'm gonna go build, uh, start working on where, how we're gonna pull all this off. I don't want to clutter up. Well, it might look okay over here to have a couple of these going on. I at least want to have uh, the constructors in this area, maybe. And since we're only going to be putting out, you know, a few seeds per minute, we only need we only have one conveyor belt coming out, and then we can do some splitting, maybe, maybe make a little powerhouse where it does the splitting out and, and everything like that, and have the biomes. Maybe if we could make them come right above the trees. What do you think? I think it'd be pretty cool. Hopefully it comes out cool and it's on the thumbnail. <laughs> Let's go over here and look real quick. <laughs> oh boy, what's wrong? What's wrong? Hmm. That would be pretty nifty. Let me dig around and see what I can get done here. We'll be right back. So I tried to prove a concept even more and built that over there. Um, there's a problem though with uh, doing this kind of a build then as much as I would like to do it specifically like that I don't think it's gonna work You can see right there in the front it looks like a kind of a weird elephant alien thing um, I did the rounded things because I was like well Maybe we can change some stuff up and maybe put some stuff inside the pillars holding them up like I could get rid of that and get the whatnot, but I actually kind of like the design of that. Like, if that was going all the way around, then we coated the foundations with walls and then painted it or something like that. That might come out really nice, but I think that's too much right there. So I would, I like the platform idea. I, I think if we did one, we'd have to make it big, like big enough for the greenhouses and, and stuff. So I'm not sure. I was excited about doing that, but that's, that's, I don't know. That's, that's a lot going on there. And I don't, I really don't care for that piece showing. And there's no way to run it back into itself in any sort of shape or manner. I mean, I could probably try something. Maybe we could try something. Maybe do both just to make it look like it. And then maybe run these back. And then have lifts on the inside. That might work. And then pull out these guys here and put them back in. I had to use those because that. Well, can I force it through one of these? I can't. See, that's that's why I got to use these guys. Hmm. That could potentially work. That's a lot of work. I could probably get one of these built in an episode because of how long this would take, which I'm not against doing, but that is a lot of work. So the one in the back, you can see there's a little bit of an overhang, not not intended. And Squiggly's here. Hey, Squiggly. Bye, Squiggly. Um, this was not intended. It was just, again, trying to get something together for another test. But this, I don't know. I mean, I might not have an excuse now if this works out decently. Decently is good enough for me right now. Just try, well where we can pull it off nicely. How about that? I know that's not angled right. That's too far down, but... How's that look from afar? That actually doesn't look bad. That would be really cool. Okay, we're gonna do it. <laughs> we're gonna do it. It's That's it. It's gonna happen. 
Um, I kind of like actually where it's at now, and it is squared up with our setup. So if I ever decide to do walkways stuff and that that match up, it is a square with our Caterium factory, our quick wire factory that is, um, well connected, squared up with our main base, which is squared up with everything else. So that's good. Um, and I'd probably do these at varying heights and spread out over an, a, a little bit of an area. I don't know. I think that looks pretty cool. It's interesting. It's like a mushroom kind of thing, but it isn't. Okay. Well, um, let me start taking apart things and get this thing lined up exactly right so we can get everything done. And uh, we'll get to work on stuff, and we'll be right back. Okay, I'm in a very precarious situation, position right now of places to be. Because I am on top of a stack that is... Oh, like this? Okay, we're fine. <laughs> I need to pay a little bit better attention than that when I'm jumping there. Jump. Oh, what the heck is going on? There we go. Let's go right here. All right. So this is our situation here. And I'm... Squiggly! What's up? Stop by again. Let's see how high up we are. Yeah. I made a ramp system up. Just to make life not suck so bad in trying to move in here and stuff. Um, I think it needs to move forward another click or two, like, like that. I think that is the correct. Let's go. So you have a pretty much that much left on that side. And you don't. There might not be a center point for this then. On this type. It might be made, he might have made this design for like an even. Width type of thing, I don't think it really matters. I say he, they. Wait, that might be it. The side over one. It's got a little bit of overhang. Let's go. That's got a little bit of overhang. That's got a that is that would that would have to do it. Yeah, that's gonna have to do it. Okay. Interesting enough. Okay, so there we have that. Uh, let's do this then for our lining up of the inputs. So I'm gonna grab this guy. And we will probably... Let's just see what the one of these walls do for us here. Uh, what to do a threefer. Right. And that's not gonna really go there, but it's gonna help me line up some things. So when I get that one up there... Let's get the... <laughs> I'm so used to going to that now. Let's get you here. I can't afford it. I need steel beams. Oh, they're down below. Let's jump down and then jump down. Okay, we have the beams. Let's go ahead and grab this. And just see what we can get here. I think that's how it's supposed to go. Now we're going to grab these guys and make sure that they're lined up. No space in between to get down in there. I think they are. I have to be real careful with this. I'm glad I've been practicing jumping a lot like that. Great. Yeah, that looks like that's lined up. Okay, so cool. So those guys are in the right position. Let's get rid of you. And then now with the heights we have here. Wait a minute. Did I do that? Um, let's grab this doorway and put it on my hotbar to not production walls. Let's put you on four since we already got that one set up. Okay, doesn't like being placed with that there. It should was that so that was lined up with that. 
So here, what I'm going to do is throw that in. Is that off by a little bit? Yeah, it would be off. Sure. Let's grab this one. It's layering. This is going to be real tough, man, trying to get this right. That's it right there. Okay. So now if I do this. Remove that one. I can put you here. And since that's a cap. We'll put it like this. And that would be what we have going down. And then we'd have the inputs at the bottom there. Same with the back end. It'd come back into this and they would all feed down. Um... It's a lot of work to get this right, but I'm down with it. And not to be, you know, whatever, but I'm cool with it. It's, it's, it's all right. This is interesting. Wow, he comes by a lot. That's awesome. It's good to see him hanging out. Um, logistics. Like that. Like that. And then I guess we need to bring down the wall the rest of the way. I don't know if these are the final walls or not, but we can at least paint these to mix stuff up. I don't like it going in the grounds though with where the conveyors come out, so we're gonna do this. That one's wrong. Alright, that's there. So now we need to get these guys here. There. And then you here. I wish we had just a, a one on each side hole. Like, it's, it's the ones we got. I guess that one would work. Uh, it just uh, is that gonna work? I feel like that's not enough spacing. Is that wrong? I might be right. I, I, I haven't used them that much, and I just realized that we did. I wish we had those. Oh, we do have them. Okay. <laughs> it's been a long day, guys. It's been a long day. All right, so let me go ahead and fix this up and tune it up, and I'll get the other side done too, and we'll be right back. Okay, I just tested out some painting, keeping the green, and I threw the black in with it, and I actually kind of like that. Uh, we have the front side and the back side connected now um, to the system. So now we're going to try to throw some a power line into here. So let's see if we can do this. Uh, let's grab this guy right here, place you here. Can I paint you? I can. Oh, neat. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's grab the power. Power line will put you on one, and then we'll also put the single side of one here. I have to actually get rid of that, so that's fine, I guess. Now, if I put one all the way up here. Okay, so that hooked it up to there, but I probably am not going to be able to go through the ground with this. Right now, I guess function is the most important thing for me on this. So if we can somehow get this to connect without it really showing, uh, win. It's encroaching another's clearance, okay? What if I got rid of that middle portion and try to go up into it? Like this. Nope, it won't let me do it. That really sucks. I'm just trying to keep it where it looks clean up here, and I don't want it to be put in like all these power lines showing. So I may need to remove this guy. And run him out. Uh, where is he at? Uh, more factory. This guy.
Did I, did I double place them? I did. Okay, I thought I did that. Huh. Can I put one up in the middle of this? Let's see if I can do that. That'd be pretty interesting if we could get it like kind of sitting right here. Okay, that's going to really suck. This thing needs to be powered at nighttime, I believe, doesn't it? Uh, I thought it did. Let me double check. Yeah, it requires 50 megawatts of power. Okay, it's auto because it's automated. That's what it was. And then use one megawatt for lighting. Okay, that, that's correct then. Um, where are we allowed to connect you from then? Into, it's right there. Oh, it's right there. Oh, that's so close. Can I put a ramp down real quick? This is, I'm, I'm deep in thought here trying to make something work. It's still encroaching. Can I put a powered one of these guys here? It's probably still encroaching. I hate my life. <laughs> I hate it. And I doubt it's because of that. It's probably because of the... <gasps> it is because of that. Oh, really? Oh, let's check out this then. Really? Okay, okay. Let's try this again. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, that was what I wanted. So bad. So bad, too. It was really bad. Like, it was so bad, I was like, man, I want that so bad. Um, let's paint you. And then, I doubt I can put this back in there, so I'm gonna have to redo these guys. I'm just happy I'm able to run power to this thing, man. God dang. Let's just keep it like that, instead of doing it the other way. All right, so let's get rid of you. Let's get back to the green. Okay, so then we can run these guys over. Logistics, grab you. Put you first. There we go. And then we can place the wall, rounded wall back. Uh, right here. That's, is it the powered one? That's over there. Just, that's the one we want. All right. There we go, and then put you here. Okay. That's pretty freaking amazing, man. That makes me really, really, really happy that we're able to pull that off. That's what I wanted, okay. So look at, whoa, it's doing that thing again. I don't know, it's, it's weird sometimes. There we go. And that, I'll take that all day long. That's like minimal amount of power stuff showing which is great so we need to put this guy back in here change the color oh, it is right okay put that one there and then we can run these back down and then there we go awesome no, that's wrong that's not awesome okay so that's hooked up that's in there we have them lined up oh my god this might turn out to actually work out. This might work out. Actually, we pretty much have everything up up for it. We had the power run into it. We had the lines going up into it. I just want to have a way to get up there easier. I guess we need to we need to unlock the jetpack, man. We need to unlock the jetpack. That's gonna be the next thing. We're gonna get the jetpack and we're gonna learn how to fly, see how hard it is to get up here. Because I have no idea. Other than I like what's happening right now with this build. Oh come on.
and that looks like it's lined up correctly. Man, I am really happy with this. Oh, and we need to paint you green. There we go. That keeps the greenness. Uh, we need pot potatoes and carrots. We'll make you potatoes for the first one. Man, oh man, oh man. That is so cool. All right, uh, I'm, I'm gonna get the side walls up. Let me get the rest of the stuff painted and uh, we'll be right back, guys. Well, well, well. <laughs> it turned out yeah, kind of like what I hoped it would turn out. It was a little bit different, but hey, I kind of like the floaty platforms. It's kind of nifty. I mean, I'm not gonna see the stuff grow in there, but it's not really as important as having a, a well, look like this. This looks pretty dang cool. Uh, you need a high point to really get a good view of the globe, I guess, but maybe from afar, it'll, it'll look really, really cool if it doesn't get lauded out. Let's see. Or trees block it. Oh, that does look good. Oh, and I like that partial right here, too. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. If I could keep the long clean and have, like, a teleporting machine thing for my resources, that would be amazing. Or at least an invisible Vator belt thing. Vator belt. Um, wow. Okay. I'm happy. From proof of concept, the very first time we tried it out to get into this, to get to that, I'm happy. Um, probably could have a little bit more stuff happen to it um, on the base of it and stuff like that. But for now, this this is, I'm cool with that. That's that's nifty. <laughs> and we're going to have th at least three of those. So, um, man, I, I, it makes me want to do like that offset that we got going on here to kind of add some variance to like, th like the, yeah, that, that would look really cool. Have that one and then have another one like right there or something. That is super cool. Either way, though, that is the time we've got for today. Uh, next episode, I'm hoping to have the other ones built uh, so we can get into getting the um, assembler section done and the constructor section done. Um, but th I'm happy with it. You guys let me know if you're happy with it, too. Comments down below. But either way, thank you so very much. And you all have a good night.